unfortunately, and that's not good news with the holiday weekend upon us, but we have got to remain weather aware as we head through really the next uh, about five days. I do want to give you some good news right now. More counties removed from the severe thunderstorm watch. All of our southern Kentucky counties out of it. And a good chunk of uh, Middle Tennessee has been removed. Basically along and west of I-65 with the exception of Williamson, Murray, Giles, and Lawrence counties. You're still in the watch till 10. Wouldn't be shocked if it were canceled earlier though. And all of the counties off to the east of 65 still included for the most part. Here's a look at the power of five radars and... This is pretty much it. Maybe an isolated shower tonight, but we're going to get a bit of a lull. So once we get this activity to push out, things will improve a great deal. Shelbyville, though, you're under a severe thunderstorm warning right now. Some heavy rain, some gusty winds, as well as probably a little bit of hail with this, too. Goes till 630 for Bedford and Marshall counties. And then we have another severe thunderstorm warning till 630. That includes Cumberland, Fentress, Overton, and Putnam counties. Definitely with this leading edge as it exits the News Channel 5 viewing area, some very strong winds where we have a little bit of that bowing there and some intense lightning. Uh, you can also see, while it's not severe, probably some good winds going on here from Smithville down into McMinnville with some heavy downpours as well. But that's really the tail end of this. We've also got that flash flood uh, warning until 10 o'clock, Dixon County, Houston, Humphreys, and Stewart counties. We have seen rain totals in excess of some spots of five inches. So that's what's prompted that flash flood warning. Also parts of Henry County and Benton County included in a flash flood warning until 815 with some decent rainfall totals in those locations. So the risk factor for the rest of the day, while still showing a two out of five, it is diminishing minute by minute and we should see our severe threat gone tonight. But with heating of the day tomorrow, we've got a one out of five threat, and then the same for Friday, predominantly to the west right now. Wouldn't be surprised if that were to shift and include all of Middle Tennessee and Southern Kentucky. The reason, we've got a frontal boundary basically stalled out, so you'll get plenty of chances to get these showers to pop up and go through the day on Thursday. Some models, not too aggressive, others very aggressive. This one not really painting a lot in the way of midday and afternoon thunderstorms, but I do think we'll see some of that activity on Thursday that will diminish some after sunset. And then we wake up Friday morning to showers and the potential of a strong thunderstorm or two with scattered thunderstorm chances through the day on Friday and really through parts of the weekend. From now until Friday, our main concerns will be wind and some heavy rain. But Sunday afternoon to Monday, while this is still a long way out, we're watching closely because we do have a decent threat factor with the dynamics looking to come into play for severe weather Sunday into Monday. In fact, the tornado threat will increase as far as what we're seeing right now, along with wind and heavy rain. So we're going to have to watch that closely, and we're going to really elaborate more on that coming up in the 630 half hour. From now until Monday night, we're going to add probably several inches of rain. So a soggy pattern indeed. 60s where the rain is falling, 70s and 80s in advance of that. We'll see temperatures overnight in the 60s. And then as we look ahead into the seven-day forecast, well, unfortunately, it's an unsettled one with that Storm 5 alert for Sunday and Monday. We may need one for Thursday and Friday. Still want to see a few more model runs, but Sunday and Monday what I'm watching closely and then calming down a bit by Tuesday and Wednesday of next week. You're watching